incident involving Damar Hamlin, many are looking into how AEDs operate, and our Verify team is breaking down exactly what you need to know to save a life. You might walk past one of these every single day and know nothing about it. Let's change that. An AED, an automated external defibrillator, is credited with helping restart Damar Hamlin's heart after his on-field collapse. We turn to several sources to learn the fast facts and best practices when it comes to AED usage. The FDA says AEDs are designed to treat people experiencing sudden cardiac arrest, and they're most effective when used within minutes of someone's collapse. While some are designed for medical professionals, the ones you'll find in public places like swimming pools and schools and in office buildings will be for public use. That means they'll include audio prompt instructions for how to use them, even if you've had no prior training. In general, the Red Cross outlines these steps for using an AED on an adult or a child over 55 pounds. Someone should call 911, then turn on the AED and listen for its voice prompts. Attach the pads to the victim's dry, uncovered chest and make sure cables are connected to the machine. As it analyzes the person's pulse, make sure no one is touching them. Shout clear! before pressing the shock button if the machine prompts you to do so. After that, or if no shock is advised, begin CPR compressions. As a reminder, you don't need to be CPR certified to perform the procedure, but the CDC says you should be educated on how to do it. That includes how to position a person, where to put your hands, and how quickly you should be pumping those chest compressions. We have more specific resources, including local CPR and AED classes, on our website. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.